today we're gonna make this cute little textured wall hanging. For this project today, we're using three millimeter single strand macrame cord. Take the end of your cord and take the other end and match them up and now your cord is folded in half equally. Now we're gonna attach this to the dowel using the lark's head knot. So take those ends around the back of your dowel, over the top, pull it down, and now you wanna keep pulling down until the loop shows up. Now you wanna take those ends and put them through the loop from front to back, and then pull down until you pull that snug up to the dowel. And do the same thing with the other nine cords. The texture is made with a variation of the square knot. So now let's make a square knot right here and you'll understand why we're doing it lower down in a moment. So to make the square knot, take the left cord over the middle cords, take the right cord, goes over that cord you just brought over, bring it around behind those two center cords and then through this loop over here. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but starting with the right hand cord. So take that right cord over the two middle cords, take the left cord in front of that cord around the back and then pull it through this loop. And now pull that snug. Now to make the texture, hold the two middle cords while you pull the square knot up to the top. And these little loops are gonna make the texture and I just tighten the knot at the top. Now we go one over and do the same thing. As you pull each cord to the top, just pull the little sides out to the front. I'll finish this row and the next row we're gonna stagger. For the second row, Skip the first two cords and make your square knot with the next four cords. By skipping the first two cords, we're placing the square knot between the knots above. So now I'll finish this row. When you're done the second row, you should have two cords left at the end that have not been knotted. Now for the third row, we'll start on the outside again and continue all the way across. Now we're on the fourth row, and again, we'll skip the first two knots. When you stagger your square knot rows like this, it's called alternating square knots. Now we'll continue on staggering each row just as we've been doing. Often what happens is you end up with a loop that's kind of tucked behind. So what you wanna do is pull that loop forward and then I make the square knot, making sure it stays forward. You always want those nice textured pieces to be at the front. I'm gonna stop there, and so far I've done nine rows in total. I'm feeling like a longer fringe for this piece, so I'm gonna cut it about here, but you can do whatever you like, of course. Watch this tutorial next to see how I hang my wall hanging. <laughs> 